Hello, welcome back to the channel and another video. This one's a bit different this time. This is a Coles crane by made by Dinky. It's not a bad shape, paintwork's play worn. Handles are both there. There's no rigging, no hook. The base paint is painted matte black which is supposed to be and uh, it's got the man in it which is good and both handles so this should be interesting because I've got to take the boom off so there'll be a lot of um, grind out of the pins down you'll see in a minute when I um, take it off the stand this is what we got so we'll get it off the stand and we'll have a look Right, here it is off the stand. Right, these cranes, like a 20 ton lorry crane, and most of these dinky cranes, to get at the stringing and everything else inside, you can lift it up like so. Turn it around a bit, there you go. And in there is all your workings. You can see that's loads of old string in there, cotton and God knows what else. The draw of it is riveted there. Okay. There's some plastic springs. No, sorry, tell a lie. There's some metal, sprung metal plates there. Just give me a pointer. In there. So as the flats... As these flats go round, they catch on the spring, they keep the tension, as you can see as it goes round, look. So it keeps them tight without spinning round aimlessly, you know. So that's them. There's the big pin here. Take the body off. So I have to grind that off. Pull that out. Now these are very similar. If you look here, the hole is the same shape as the flat on there. So what you do is you pull that through. You have to grind it off there. And that should then pull through straight out like this sounds easy but I bet it ain't so we'll get those two out after I've de-strung them all we'll get all that crap out of there take the pin off that'll separate the body and then we're going to have to that pin you can see that in there but that pin's got a flat edge to it in there. That's got a flat edge to it. It's been crimped over. And that hasn't. So we're going to, have to grind this off. Push it through that way. Pull it through the cab. Behind his head. Hopefully anyway. That there. Got to come out that way. Because you won't get it out that way. Hopefully don't have to take the driver out. But we'll have to see about that. So that will release the boom. And that's as far as I'm going to go. I'm not going to take this back piece off. And I'm certainly not going to take the front piece off. So that'll, that'll separate that. Tires. I have already took the base apart. It's just two rivets. Take the base off. Look. And the axle's just come out like so. Now there's a big, this big bugger here, I was thinking about digging that out, but it's on really, really solid. Yeah, and it's got a, a turn rivet head on there, or a post or whatever they call it, been flattened on there, but I don't think it's necessary. Once I've took the pin out, oh, these are tight, once I've took this pin out, I can do all this base in the black without having to take that out. 
I think that's a wise decision on my part. Otherwise, I, you know, taking this out, it's possible, but it's going to be a hell of a job to grind that edge off there. But to get it back together again, so it operates, is another kettle of fish. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to strip it and do that. So that's basically what we got. Luckily, the tyres are in good condition. Look at them. They're virtually brown in. Whether they've been replaced recently, I don't know. Axles want cleaning up. You can do that. The base will want cleaning up. I'll do that. Uh, let's have a look. Dinkies, Super Toys, Coles, Mobile Crane. Made in England, Makanda Limited. So, listen. some of these had a transfer on the back. Some didn't. This one, there's no... There's no um, evidence of any stickers or anything on the back of here, so it's going to stay the same. Okay? Right, let's get ripped into this then. Right, let's get ripped into this. Okay, well, this has been only a few seconds for you, but it's been a few days for me. Um... I was hoping to upload this video between Christmas Day and New Year's Eve, but I've had a slight snag, I've had a problemo. Um, I ran out of data on my home hub, which I was, oh, I thought, bloody hell, no, I don't need that. And it's been a couple of three days till I've been able to get down to the shop and have a word, and uh, now I've got unlimited data. What it was is, is uploading uh, YouTube videos in high resolutions and whatever and I didn't have enough data and uh, I should have thought of that but I didn't because I'm stupid like that um, <coughs> excuse me yeah so um, that's where we, why we haven't uploaded previously to this so uh, that's the reasons why so now I've got to, I have to take out a flipping sim card contract because uh, I have a home hub mobile home hub um, not like Sky or anything like that, or Virgin. I have a mobile home hub from my phone provider. And it's good. It's a lot better than the Sky. Uh, the internet is a lot better. It doesn't crash, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I just uh, run out of data. So I've now upgraded to unlimited data. So away we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Okay. As I said before, uh, slight change of plan with this. I'm, if you look carefully here at this pin there, if I can get it in focus, that pin there, there's very, very little give or tolerance on that pin. Look, I'm trying to pull it back. And really, I'm not going to take these out. I'm going to mask these handles up and the metal up. And uh, I'm not going to take them out because really there's not that much room. Some of you guys who do matchbox on a regular basis might think, yeah, well, there's loads of room, get in there and do it. But I don't think there's enough. For me personally, there's not enough room to grind that off. And then not so much grinding it off, it's peening it back over. There's very little, as you can see, that handle's tight up or close against there. And uh, I'm not going to do it. I refuse to do it. I am not doing it. But anyway, so what I have done is ground the big pin off off there ground that big pin off and i ground that one off so we'll take this off now and i'll just show you how to pull that out see there you go that's it pull that out so now the body should separate completely so that's going in the um in the cool stick soda and uh that'll do so that can go in the caustic soda and i've I didn't grind it. Tell a lie. I didn't grind that pin off. It was the one in there. Um, as you can see, the flat edge is just through there, by the back of his head. And that's the pin there. So what you have to do is push that through there. I'll get my tweezers. And we'll grab hold of it there. And it should pull out. Oot! Come out, lad. Come out. Here it comes. You can see that. You pull it out there. Look. Pull it out. 
Look, I should have been a surgeon, shouldn't I, really? Brain surgeon. There, and then that releases that. So that's the boom. The boom. So now, like I say, I'm not going to take that because there's very little room like this of movement in there against that against that pin there. So I'm going to cut all this crap off here now and get at that. I'm not sure if I'll take the driver out. Might do. Might have a look. Might just leave it in there. Right. Let's get on it. My light box hasn't turned up yet. I thought it might be here today, but it hasn't. So you'll have to... Oh, there you go. It might be here tomorrow. I don't know. Stuff is in the post New Year's Eve. Might be. I don't know. Well, I hope you had a good Christmas. Everybody enjoyed themselves with the family and friends. That's went quite well. So we're pleased with that. To be honest with you, I took my tree down today. Waiting to go to the shop to open, so I took my tree down today. And all the uh, stuff that goes with it. I know some people don't take theirs down for a long time. But I thought, nah, kids have been, everybody's been, collected their presents, and what have you. I'm having a biscuit sale. I've got that many boxes of biscuits. I'm having a biscuit sale. So, anybody want a biscuit? Drop me an email. I'll send you a biscuit. I don't see that very well. I'm doing it in you. We're looking in the dark, aren't you? But get all that crap. God, there's years of stringing in here. There we go. That's got it, I think. I'm trying to get it so you can actually see it. But, yeah. So that's it. One more day to go, and then we're back to normal. Back to normal. So, I did get a couple of purchases just before Christmas or come in the post. Uh, one came, two came today. And uh, quite nice. I'm not going to show you though. Oh, ah, there you go. That's just about got it, I think, now. A bit more here. Big finger in the way. Come on, get it out. Come out, boy. Come out. While I'm doing this, I'd like to give a little mention to a new chap on the block. Now, if I can get this right, because otherwise he might to comment and say, wait, get my name right. It's Crap Old, Crap Old Nick. Crap Old Nick. And he's from um, Jersey. I'm right. He's just started doing videos. Nice chap. That's Crap Ord Nick. Crap Ord Nick. In one of his videos, he just mentioned why he's called, why they called, something to do with Toad, I'm not sure. But anyway, look at his videos. Have a look. If you get time. Crap Ord Nick. And I would imagine he's subscribed to quite a few channels because I've seen him commenting on one or two of you guys' channels. So, yeah, give him a look. Seriously. He's doing some good stuff. All right, there, clear. Got it all out. See that now? A bit rusty. What will get in there with the wire wheel. Now, yeah, I think I can paint that driver because I'm pretty good with a paintbrush, I reckon. I reckon I get in there with it. Nah, stupid boy. Get in with a bubble one. I've got some nice paint brushes. I should be able to get dauber paint in there. Back of his head down there. His little leggies. Without taking it out. I'll see. I'll have a debate on that one. Right, so this can go in the uh, stripperoonies. Yeah, what I'll do is when it's done, I'll, I'll mask all this up. I'll mask all that up so it won't get to paint on it. But yeah, there's just not enough room, to be honest with you. But that's the workings. You perhaps see it a bit better now. The springs as they go around, like you see that going down. 
that spring. Simple, but effective. Right, okay, enough yapping. I'm going to get this in the caustic soda. I'll catch you a minute when we're all set up. Right, just waiting for a second or two for the kettle to boil. <coughs> got me soda, got me fan on, got me bits and bobs in here. So, there you go, it just boiled. Okay, let's get some water. Hang on. we stuck on a carpet. There we go. Get some water in here. I took the driver out. Well, sod it. Yeah, let's fill her up. Fill her up, Rodney. Okay. Well, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit of something under that end. To bring it down, that's it. Right, get that out of your way. Right. Okay, look, here it comes. Here we come. This is uh, about a quarter full now, so I'm getting low. I've got a spare bottle. Okay, let's chuck some of this in here. Here we go. Hang on a sec. Hang on a minute. I don't quite know if you can see that. Uh, let's have a look. I'll go up and then go. So this is my um, adapted, adapted tripod. There you go. Bodge pod. That's what it is. Bodge pod. Right, let's continue. Well, you see the yellow come spanning out of there. I'm just putting little bits in here. Right, it's just... Oh, can't believe that. Look at that already, look. Look at that. That's virtually gone. Look at that. Talk about instant. Look at that. Look at, look at, look at. A bit more black to go on there. But yeah, that's going good. <coughs> right, you can see now, you can bugger off now. I'll, um, I'll turn the camera off, get set back on the bench, put the kettle away, and then uh, get this in some. Uh, warm water rinsing off okay catch in a second or two bye right we're back we're in the soapy water now so we're giving that a rinse in the soapy water get rid of all the rubbish on it give it a bit of a stir but yeah quite impressed with that came off quite well as you can see there's the there's the boom bring on the boom yeah I just give that a rinse round in there. Just get rid of the the worst of it off. And that's quite hot water, that's boiling water. That so that'll get rid of any caustic soda what's left in there. And I'll get that out now. There's me Put that over there and the body. You can see where I've took the driver out. He bailed. He said, I'm not going in that caustic soda. You're not getting me in there. I'm bailing. And he jumped. He legged it. Bloody coward. Yeah, that's pretty clean, that. Look at that. Clean. All right, so that'll go over. Drain that. What else have we got in here? What else have we got in here? Here it is. There. And that's the base. That's come out pretty clean. Look at that. Maybe one or two little bits there. Look. I think the old wire wheel won't get off. There. 
There. There, there, there. Right, now where is he? Where is he? I said, if you're not going to caustic soda, you've got to have a bath. There he is. What should we call him? Yeller. Call him Yeller, because he wouldn't go into caustic soda. Yeah, that's him. He's got a bit of detail on him. He's got... A, let's see, he's got a... What, that bib and brace? Yeah, yeah, he's got a bib and brace on there, look. Yeah, a flat cap. He's a boy. Right, so that's it. That's all in the caustic soda, out of caustic soda. No, no, no. There's one more item. Here it is. The base base. I can handle that now because it's kind of dangerous now. Super toys. Okay. Right. We get this lot packed away, get rid of the water, get rid of the caustic soda, and uh, get out the Dremel. Okay, catch you in a minute. Way to start on the wire wheeling. That's come up pretty clean. Both sides. And the crane jib. That's nice. Nice and clean. Nice bit of brass on the end there, look. Or brass plated, whatever they used. Right, if you're going to do a giant crane jib like this, you need to put a new one of these on. I bought this new one a couple of minutes ago, and it's already started to show signs of wear. But yeah, you need it to get in, getting down in, in that jib there. And I'll run it flat along the edge there to get in that jib, get it all out. Yeah, that's what I use for that. And I use this one for getting into small areas. So yeah, that's the jib done. That's the base done. I've got Mr. Yellow here. I'm not going to show you all on camera, to be honest with you. Otherwise, it's going to take me forever to do this on camera. So we'll just have a look, see. Give him a quick spruce up. So I don't break his arms off. A lot of paint on here. In the tweet. Oh no, no, I'm in nuts. That'll teach you, boy. Give a bit of old nuts and polish up. In the old back of the legs. In the torture. Give him a face scrub, a facial, give him a facial. Give him that nine o'clock shadow, give him a facial. There you go, mate. And your flat cap. ahead and do the uh, the base plate because there's quite a bit there and go ahead and do this and I'll come back to you when it's all polished up okay right we're all polished up got a good old clean up good enough for some spray seen the jib seen the base this old man Old yellow. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's this one. 
got the handles cleaned up, but all right. Too bad on the inside. You can see that. Nice and clean. Yeah, it's all ready for primer now. All ready for primer. I'm going to mask these up. I'm going to mask them up. Uh, I don't think I'll... No, I, don't, I ain't going to mask them up. I don't need to mask them up. Get a bit of paint on it. Get a bit of paint on it. Won't hurt it. <coughs> Excuse me. Won't hurt it. Uh, that's it. Yeah. I'll mask these up. End bit. Okay. Next step. Primer. Back from priming, done some priming. Let's have a look, see what we got. I bet take them off here, be able to see better. Got the boom all primed up, ready for paint. Take this one off, see what it show you. It's all masked up, primed, ready for paint. I did end up masking across the bottom there just to protect them a little bit. So those are ready for paint. That's those two parts. And on the green stand, we've got the base ready for paint. And the turntable. That's all good to go. An old yellow. I'm going to hand paint this one. He was a brown, khaki brown, so I'm going to do him with a, a denim bit of bib and brace and a, a bright coloured shirt and a different hat, a bit of flesh on a face, just to so you can see him. He, 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 when he's in the vehicle, you can hardly see him. So I'm going to do that. I must... Get a new one of these, it's all fall apart. All right, so that's a way of paint. There we go, then. So, what I'm gonna do my gas fire in the background is bubbling away, meaning it's about to run out of gas. And in that case, it's New Year's Day at the minute, and I can't get a new gas bottle till tomorrow. So, I'm not gonna attempt to, to do any gloss painting today. I was hoping to get it done. But this fire is not going to keep it warm enough in here as it is. So um, I'm going to get a new gas bottle tomorrow in the morning, Thursday. And uh, I'll carry on priming when I get back sometime Thursday morning. All right. So I'll catch you then. Right. Just going to paint this bloke, this driver, old yellow. Going to paint him. I'm using the uh, Ravel Aqua paints along with their colour mix a number one paintbrush so gonna give them a go give them some blue trousers yeah gonna give them some blue trousers blue dungarees yeah these rebel aqua paints are quite thick so they do need thinning. You can thin them with water if you want. It's not a problem. But I just um, bottle of thinners. So I thought I'd use that. It does help. It's got some nice colours in the aqua range. I must admit. Some quite obscure colours as well. So we're going to do his overalls. Excuse me, keep banging the camera. I'm not used to painting, hand painting like this on camera. So I'll try and get it as straight as I can. He's going to have a grey shirt. There we go. Got his nads, that's it.
to the side. There you go. Grab a driver. It was a boring gray, um, khaki colour, like I said. And I thought, nah. Not see the old boy for it, are you? See what he's up to. Now, if I get this right. Do I get it? Because these overalls want to go right the way. They only go part the way. Do his back. Oh, he's got a crisscross on his back already, look. So excuse me while I get a little bit closer to this. To try and paint that. One. Back there. Yep. Here we go. 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 Show some background music, I suppose. But I can't find any decent music to put on this. Not that I'd know how to do it anyway. Right, get on your sh shoulder straps. There we go, boys. I think it's... In fact, I should have done his grey shirt first before I did this. Should I really? And I'll put the blue over the top. Yeah, I think that'd be a bit of a favourite oh, idea. Just go a bit more here. Yeah. I think it's harder to learn how to do the filming, the editing, the lighting, and everything else than it is to actually do the car itself or the vehicle. I mean, I'm. A bit technophobic, to be honest with you. When it comes to technology, I'm a little bit not very good. Not very good at all. Right, I'm going to do the grey now, this shirt. I'm going to wash the brush out, change my colours. Let's see how we get on with that. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to choke it. You can use a, a light grey. So you have to give a bit of a stir. Before we carry on. As you can see, these are quite thick paints. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit on my tile. Got a tile next to me here, look. And I've got uh, my syringe with a bit of clear in it. Bit of thinners in it. Let's see what we got here. Stir this up. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Oh, shit. Got a bit of blue in that. That won't hurt it. It won't hurt it. Right. Let's go. And do his sleeves first, well. Them all poshed up, that. Hey. And he's got your Sunday best. 
Ja, ja, han skal være sådan de bedste. Det er sjovt, kom Oh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish them off off camera, or is it going to take ages uh, to paint and change colour, paint and change colour? you got a general idea. I'll show you when I painted him, okay? There he is. Old yellow. All blinged up. I'll just give it a coat of gloss and let it dry now. Clean shirt. He's got a bit of a ruddy face. I think he's been on a piss. Yeah. A bit rough, that old casting, so. Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. Hello. Hello, what are you doing? Shaking. Isn't it? There you go. Anyway, that's him. His back end. He's all ready to do his job. So I let him dry. Right, okay, we're back. Yeah, it's been um, been a bit busy the last couple of days. I had a bit of a disaster with the paint on this one. Um, I painted it the one colour. I didn't like it at all. It was, it didn't go great, to be honest with you. So I uh, redone it, painted it again. Um, so I'm going to show you. One or two problems that I had with it. So we're back on track now. And uh, this should be up tonight, Saturday night. It's been a long haul, this one. Not to say to doing the, doing the crane, but I've had interruptions and interruptions and interruptions. You know it's like you're trying to get on. And, you know, you get interrupted and you have to go away and come back. And, you know, anyway, enough of that. Right, okay, wheels and tyres, axles. Nicely cleaned up, ready to go. Both sets. Rivets. Cut down. Because there's not a lot of room. Through there. To here, there's not a lot of room. This come up all right. Without having to take it off. Quite pleased with that. So that's okay, that's ready to go. The hinge pin. Now for me, I'm very new at this, removing pins like this and peening over the ends. I've only ever done one. And uh, so, you know, I'm a novice at this when it comes down to it. So I've done I've done this one and I've got a few more to do, which have pins uh, uh, and what have you. So I'm going to have to sort myself out a proper peening over tool. This, I'll show you in a minute how awkward this one was. All right, now I've gone ahead and assembled the jib on here. If you remember rightly when I said to you that we had to get this pin in here behind it, behind the drive, it goes through and out the other side. And that's got a flat, flat end to it. It's been, if you look obviously at the beginning of the video, you'll see it better. Um, so the problem I had was, this end peens over, was, I didn't know the driver at the time, was to hold that pin steady whilst banging that over, pinning that over. Now, I'll tell you, it's not easy. As you can see, I lost a bit of paint there. I've got to touch that up. Um, getting something in that narrow gap to hold that, to stop it from coming backwards, while you're tapping it. And I tell you, I did it off camera because there's no way we're going to be able to do that on camera. And not only that, I know this is for kids, but, you know, even some of the adults would have been like, my God, look at the language. But anyway, so it's on. Yeah. And I went ahead and restringed it. 
because that was also a fiddly job. Yeah, getting the strings in the holes, tying the knot, and get them to stay. So I did that off camera. I mean, it's not it's not rocket science. So you don't really need me to show you how to do it as a hole in the bar. You tie a knot, but it's quite awkward to do when you're trying to do it in with a camera in front of you. So anyway, so here we go. Look. So in fact, written on the side, it tells you which which operates what. This is raise the jib. It says it on there. So you've got the old uh, raise the jib. Look, there it goes. Back up again. This one. Get it right around the right way. Put that flap over there. This one does the the hook, Jimmy. The hook. Yeah, there she comes. There she comes. So that's the hook. So I went ahead and did that, and I also put the driver in and put old yellow in. You can see him a bit in there. He's in there. Look, he's happy now. He's back in there. So this is where we're at. So now, what's left to do now is put this big pin. Get me fingers on it. Get this big pin through there. Through there. All right. And then we'll put the um, base on. Because I'll put the base and wheels on now. The chance I turn on its side, trying to bang it and tap it, going to do damage. I'll clean these up, brass them up. So they're quite nice and clean now. Uh, I have decided I'd got one of these. So I'm going to put this on the back. The old coal sticker. I'm going to put that on the back. It looks a bit naked without it. So I'm going to stick one on the back. So that's what we're going to do. So, see if I can do this without. I did a practice shot at it earlier on, and it seemed to go all right getting this in here. It's a bit tricky to get that in there. Oh, we got movement. Oh, yeah, we're through. Right, we're through. Now, the thing is. Positioning this because it's got handles and stuff on it and bits and pieces sticking out everywhere. That I don't do it serious damage because I don't really want to go around and paint this again. So, if I remember rightly, I had it worked out if I got it on the if I got it on the corner, I'll just bring it in the shot so you can see me cock this up. Um, get that over there, get this on the corner of my. Metal plate. Oh, I missed the old. Oh, you tit. Here we go, trying to find the old now. Look. There it is, poking up a bit of back there. See, I'm a bit cack handy when it comes to this sort of stuff. But we'll get it. It's all part of fun, boys and girls. All part of fun. All part of fun. Yeah, I've got a few more of these uh, pins and things to do. I'm sorry, it's not even in shot. Look, you're looking at my flipping hand. Uh, it's coming out now. Where's it gone? Here it is. Let me just move that out of the way a minute. Right, hang on a sec, what's going on here? Let's get that right. Yeah, it's okay, when you've done a few of these, I suppose you get the hang of it, but first time, so I was a little bit nerve-wracking, ain't it? So you got people going, ah, oh, do this, do that, do the other. It's got to be near it now.
Just bear with me, folks, a minute. Come on, that must be it now. Yep, in. Right, we're in. Right, now, bring that over. Hopefully it don't drop out again. Click that in place so it don't put that on the corner. Right, let's see if we can pin this over. Without causing too much trouble. Tell you what, there ain't, there ain't a lot of room. There's not a lot of room. There really isn't a lot of room. Try and hold that down. Oh, I'll tell you. Try this one. No, this is bad. Let me just check the other side. I'll make sure I'm not. Yeah, I'm all right. We're all right yet, John. That'll do it, I think. Not going any more than that. All right. <coughs> that'll do, Jimmy. That'll do. All right. That should be lift off. Yeah, there you go. Look. That's all working. Click that back in place. And we're there. All right. Now we've just got to do the base. Got to wind the jib down. Oh, I've got a mark on the top. Look, flipping it. I'll touch that up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Put the crane up. There you go. Now I'll get me a bit of rag out. Yeah. Well, we've got to do these things. To challenge ourselves, don't we? Hey, eh, don't you think? Because we don't do them, we feel them um, as if we should have done them. So it's all part of the game, all part of fun, enjoying yourselves and doing all these different things. I'll certainly do some more with the pins. I think obviously the the, the, bet, the, the more you do, the better you'll get at it. As far as I'm concerned, you will anyway. So, bit of dupe glue with glue. Now we should be all righty. Drop in that. Give my tweezers. Yeah, I did, you know, enjoy doing this. Obviously, when you do things for the first time, 
you've always got that element of, oh, shit, you know, something happens, or am I going to do this, and am I going to do that? You're always going to get that. But all in all, I think it's turned out quite nice. Except having to repaint it again, obviously. That was a ball ache, but... can't win them all can you you can't win them all this is a bit long this video it's it was 30 minutes before i started doing this so i apologize for the length of it and i hope you don't get too bored watching it i really do i'll just hold that for a second or two to set up come on wait Get in there. Going on. Get in there. I will tell you that hole was a bit elongated before I drilled it out, so don't blame me. Right. Okay. We are done. We are done. I'm gonna put a transfer on the back. Okay. I'll drop that in the water. Drop that in there. Just while this is base is setting up, turn it over because it's going a bit wappy. I've got some micro set here somewhere. I'm going to get the lights in the way. Where is it? There it is. The old micro set. Some of that. I always keep my um, decals and or transfers. I'll keep the, and the fluids, the micro set and the micro sole and a decent pair of scissors. I think I mentioned it before, I'll keep all that separate in a separate container. I don't want to get them mixed up with everything else. So there's my separate brush. So there you go. There you go. Got to do the back now. Wait for that. Prop that up somehow, I think, so I can see what I'm doing. There you go. So let's have a look. I'm hoping this will, won't take long to come off of it. Oh no! What rubbish flipping decals! Look at that. Just look at it. It's just totally, totally obliterated. Look. Look at that. Look at that. I don't think I'll be able to repair that. Oh, and I'm really pissed off now. Flipping egg. Tell you. Wish I could produce my own decals. Because... I'm not knocking all these people, but, you know, that's just, no, I'm not going to put that, be able to get that right. That's it. Scrubbing that. No decals on the back of this. Uh, there you go, folks. You've seen it live. Not everything works the same way. Right. Let's wrap this up, then. Get rid of that. I'll lift back on this. Never mind, eh? Well, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Right. Ba 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 ba. Ba da ba 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 ba.
there anyway. I've lost my black bit now. I've lost my black bit. I had a piece of uh, black to go on there. I've lost it now. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, it's all going Pete Tong. It's all going. Right, okay. We'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. Take the camera off. Let me a second or two. Right, here we have it. Dinkies Coles Mobile Crane. All blinged up. Really good. Nice bit of kit. Put your hook in the middle, silly boy. There you go. Hook in the middle. Hook, everything else. All works. Completely rotates. There you go. Up she comes. Up she comes. Right. And she goes. There we go. Chug, 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 chug. Grab the old uh, spin out of the way. Drag her out. Get the jib up a bit. Wind her up, Jimmy. There she goes. There you go. Right, that's enough of that twatting about. Right, there it is. Cole's Mobile Crane by Dinky. All right. See you soon. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.